Surface Mount Technology, or SMT, places electronic components onto printed circuit boards by machine or by hand. These components can be placed on both sides of the board and with higher density than through-hole components. The SMT equipment you see here is our Micronic pick-and-place machine. This automated system can put down as many as 30,000 parts per hour. It's a lot faster than the 15 parts per minute that's typical with manual board assembly. The way that SMT components are packaged or presented for assembly determines how we load them into our Micronic machine, or if we assemble our boards by hand instead. Z-Axis supports different types of SMT component packaging. Full reels are the most efficient way to package high volumes of components. They can contain as many as 10,000 parts on up to 20 yards of continuous tape. The starting section of tape is called the leader. It feeds into the pick and place machine but then gets thrown away. If you don't have a leader, you have to throw away the parts at the beginning. This is a concern if parts are expensive. Reels load into our Micronic machine like this. One of the advantages of this equipment is that we can use shorter leaders for less waste. Trays are a packaging method that don't use tape. They hold less parts than reels, so they are great for smaller jobs. This tray feeder sends the parts to the Micronic machine. It has eight trays in all. Each tray has the same outside dimensions and there are pedestal pockets for processing. Mini reels are another packaging option. They're often used with higher value parts and for higher volumes. A distributor can reduce a full reel to a mini reel and provide only the number of parts that you need. That's a good way to reduce costs, especially with expensive components. They'll add a liter so there's no waste. Tubes are another packaging method. Typically they're used with heavier parts such as relays and with lower volumes or integrated circuits. Because they're only approximately 20 inches long, tubes have to be changed out more often. Here's how they're loaded. For lower volume work, you can also use continuous tape or cut tape. The challenge, however, is that the operator has to peel the tape away. With cut tapes, parts are usually picked and placed by hand. This means you can't take advantage of automated assembly. Finally, there's bulk packaging. It puts components in bags, which means an operator needs to handle them. Bags might be fine for expensive parts, but manual labor adds time and cost. Partnering with Z-Axis is your ticket to faster, more effective PCB assembly. Contact us to discuss your application.